Hi, I just wanted to record a short video about uh, meniscal injuries. So the previous video we saw Lisa, the personal trainer, who has a degenerative tear of her medial meniscus. So I have a, a knee joint model for you to have a look at here. Um, if you're not familiar with the term meniscus, you might be familiar with the term cartilage. The media inaccurately report often um, a torn cartilage occurring, perhaps in a footballer or a rugby player, uh, when actually what they mean is a meniscal tear. So if I just open up the knee and, and show you what we mean. So we've got the fibula here, the tibia, patella tendon, patella underneath, and the femur. So this is a right knee. If I remove the patella, ouch, <laughs> bend the knee forward, Incidentally, that stuff called the cartilage, the hyaline cartilage, surrounds, or sorry, lines the tops of the bones here. So if you've ever um, pulled a chicken drumstick apart and you've seen that pristine white surface, that's the hyaline cartilage. Uh, and I'll tell you more about that in a, a separate video. But we're talking about menisci here, or meniscus, menisci being the plural. If I tilt that forward, you should be able to see, apart from that detached ligament. Uh, on the outside, we have the lateral meniscus, and on the inside, the medial meniscus there. You'll see that they're thick on the outside, but on the inside they taper down, so they're a wedge shape like that. Now these structures are really important for weight, uh, sorry, dispersing load, reducing impact and reducing friction. So they're really important for the function of the knee. In healthy, fit, young people, uh, it usually involves significant loading with a twist. So we've got compressive loading, bend, usually a bit of a bend of the knee with a rotation, something like that. A sudden stop from sprinting with rotation and change of direction. Uh, landing awkwardly from a jump with a, a twist as well. And um, given the force of these injuries, they often occur with other injuries like ACL, which also includes a rotational component with deceleration. The quality of our tissue also ages, and that includes the muscles, the bone, the ligaments, tendons, menisci. And that means that, unfortunately, it's not quite as resilient as it used to be. It's not quite as strong or as flexible. So those injuries uh, to the menisci might not take as significant a trauma as we age from perhaps 45 onwards uh, as it would do compared to somebody in their mid-20s. So I hope that's been of use to you to help your understanding of what a meniscus is and the difference between a degenerative tear uh, and a tear in somebody who hasn't got degeneration.